Hey guys, back with another animation true story. And today it's called How I Became TikTok Famous. If you didn't know this, TikTok is going to get banned really sadly. Go the way, by the way, go check out my TikTok before it gets banned. Donald Trump has decided to ban TikTok for a very, very odd reason. And um, yeah, if you don't have TikTok, download the app right now. Tell all your friends about this YouTube video if they love TikTok. And it, um, without a further ado, let's dive into the video. I don't know who these people are. Okay, whatever. I'm just being weird right now. Let's dive right into the video. Okay, and let's just... Hi, I know I should introduce myself, but I think it's better to remain anonymous. After everything that happened to me, I don't want this video to be blocked, just like my TikTok account was. You see, I'm only 12 years old, but I'm already super famous online. If I told you my name, you would surely recognize it. So let's just say I'm called Megan, because it's odd for you to be sitting there listening to my story without any name to call me by. Mm -hmm. So you are probably wondering why a 12-year-old's account was banned from TikTok. Because you have to be 13 and older, but... A lot of people pretend that they're like over 12, like just, so guys, if you're um under 12 and you want to watch my TikTok videos, just lie and say you're not 12. I mean, you're like older than 13, because that's the max. But if you're already older than that, then that's perfect. You're good. You're already an ace. And how I lost all my following if I was so big. Let me tell you about it. Really, it's not easy talking about this because I'm still a bit heartbroken. I had tasted fame, and now it's all been taken away from me. At first, I used the app just to watch other- I don't like it when you said taste of fame. That's kind of creeping me out here. Other people's accounts. I found it to be the coolest thing in the world. I was it is. Download now. Oops. Waking hour. I even began using it back when it was called Musical.ly. In the beginning, I didn't even upload any videos myself. I was too shy to do it. I wondered if people would mock me, so I just limited myself to watching other users. It was so much fun, and people were so incredibly talented. I wondered how they could post all those fun videos, and how they got so talented. I wanted to be just like them. Now, I know that it's not easy being that good, so I eventually decided to try and post my very first video. It was a mess. A big mess, believe me. I wasn't too talented at all, and no one watched it. What's your user? I want to see. I want to see so bad. Guys, comment below what you think her user could be, because I'm really curious, and if um, you tell me, then I will look up and um i will look up that user and see her videos for myself and yeah and if you tell me in the comment section i will do that i couldn't blame them since it was really bad why would anyone be oh, well can you at least show me what you did in it interested in my account when there were so many amazing creators out there i was determined to become famous and be as cool as all the people i admired this would take a lot of hard work, but I knew I could do it. I set my mind on it and began practicing every single day for hours and hours. I'd play videos I thought were great over and over again in an endless loop. Then I'd mimic their dance moves and the way they sang. I would practice in front of the mirror, in the school hallways, on my way home. There wasn't a single moment of- I don't really of think they sing on TikTok. They're probably just using someone else's sound. Sorry. Yeah. day in which I didn't think about TikTok. Yes, yes, I know, I sound like I was obsessed. I'm not going to lie, I really was. To me, this app was everything. I could become super famous and live off my talents instead of getting a real job. That sounded so great. I also began to think about fun new ideas. I asked myself what I'd love to see in a video and then scribbled. Well, to me, you only like seeing people dance put down in a notebook I carried around everywhere I went. In all honesty, I stopped doing my homework and caring about anything else in my life. I did really poorly at school and my parents became super worried. They asked me what was going on and why I didn't seem to be interested in the hobbies I used to adore. I told them they wouldn't understand. 
How could they when neither my mom nor my dad even knew what TikTok was? Well, I noted. Mm, same, I guess, but it's not good to be obsessed. Just how popular some users were getting. People like Charlie Demute. That does not. That looks nothing like Charlie. Um, Dem don't judge me. I can't pronounce her last name. Leo and her sister. There were so many famous TikTokers, and I was sure they were earning lots and lots of money. I would analyze their videos constantly and take notes about what made them so cool. When I got better at dancing, I decided it was time to upload new videos of my own. I began mimicking other famous TikTokers dancing moves, and I immediately began getting lots of viewers. People thought I was so cool and that I was so talented. Well, I just how much famous were you? Decided not to delete my first few videos, so everyone commented on how much I had improved. Everyone wanted to know how I had gotten so good so fast. Of course, she didn't I look too good. On her first video, she only got like 121 likes. What? That's not a lot, and like 45 people commented. Everyone wanted to know how I had gotten so good so fast. Of course, I didn't tell them that I practiced for hours and hours every single day. Why? I didn't want them to know I was super obsessed. Instead, I played it cool and pretended that I was just naturally talented. I told them that the first videos were a joke. They all thought I was the coolest girl online, and I was only 12 years old. That was so amazing. I began getting millions and millions of views and followers. People watched my every video. Millions? What do you mean millions? Like, let me show you something. What does she mean millions of followers? It's only 262 followers. Getting millions and millions of views and followers. Oh, that's, oh, these are you following. My bad. People watched my every video obsessively, just like I had done with other popular users back when I was just another- Hey, why do- oh my god, I keep doing this. Why do all these videos say zero views? Like, no, zero videos. They all say zero videos. Oh my god, zero videos. And zero followers. Zero followers, like, why do they all say that? It's so weird. Popular users back when I was just another nobody. Surely by now you are wondering who I am. I told you before, I simply can't tell you my real name. Don't you dare even bring it up. I really want to know. Name. Just call me Megan. If I tell you who I am, maybe my new TikTok will get taken down, and I don't want this happening all over again. Losing my voice once was already terrible. I can't have it happen twice. It would get me so sad. I wasn't merely famous online, mind you. People recognized me at my school. They all ran up to me whenever I walked into the building or into the classroom. They asked me lots of questions. I felt like I was being hounded by the paparazzi. It was so cool. Soon, I became the most popular girl at school. Even older students wanted to hang out with me. Everyone wanted to be my friend, and they brought me all kinds of gifts. People would ask me if they could appear in a few of my videos alongside me, but I always refused. I didn't want to share the spotlight after all. I always had a good excuse to say no, of course. I couldn't admit that I was worried someone might outshine me. Yeah, you could, but you just don't want to. It became super stressful to balance my regular life and my fame. Believe me when I say that I began doing even worse at school. My parents were at their wit's end. They didn't know what to do about me, and nothing they said affected me at all. I soon realized that most of the new friends I was making were really fake. They well, what do you expect? They only wanted to be close to me because of my popularity. They didn't care about my feelings or my problems. When I asked them to help me study so that my grades would go up, they tried to convince me to make another video or go out shopping. It was getting so crazy and out of control. I mean, I was just 12 and people began recognizing me on the street. My parents didn't like this one bit. They were worried someone would end up hurting me. My account was blowing up. There were so many viewers, and my fans were very supportive. People really liked what I was doing. It was amazing to be that popular, and everyone seemed to love me. You're just so obsessed. You need to quit this. Sure, there were a few haters, but that was something that came with fame, and I kind of liked it as well. I oh, you're so weird. You liked haters? 
It was a bit out of control, to be perfectly honest. Oh, well, I'm pretty sure your haters are just jealous, but IDK. Honest. Then one day, the worst happened. When I tried to open the app, I noticed I had been locked out. It was so weird. I didn't understand what on earth was going on. At first, I thought that it was simply a mistake and that I would be able to get online on another phone. But no, it kept on lagging. It was so weird. I got all these different types of errors. Eventually, I decided to send an inquiry to the app's developers and decided I needed to wait for their reply. After all, there didn't seem to be anything else I could do. I thought it was just a mistake or something like that, until my best friend called me. She was freaking out, and I asked her what was going on. Casey, my friend, explained that my account had been deleted and that she couldn't access any of my videos. I didn't appear anywhere at all. I Is she a fake friend? Because she kind of sounds like it. I didn't understand how that was even possible. My account had basically disappeared completely. The previous night, I had been able to upload a video, no problem. And now, I wasn't even in the app at all. After doing some research, I realized that for some reason, my account had been banned. That's why it wasn't showing up. I was sure it had been some kind of silly mistake, so I waited for the reply of the app's administrators. The response took two whole weeks to arrive. I was freaking out by then and had sent them a lot of new emails. I tried creating a new account, but it didn't work either. I was so worried and I didn't understand how this could be happening. Uh, to be honest, I'd be freaking out too. I expected but I'm not it all obsessed. to be trust me, I'm not obsessed. Solved super quickly, but no, it was the complete opposite. When I got their email, they explained that I had been banned because I lied during my registration. Imagine my shock when I read what they told me. Apparently, I had to be 13 or older to use the app. Since but that's not fair. Millions of other people are doing that. And, like, TikTok, come on. Since I was just 12, I lied and said that I was a year older and just opened an account with false information. I was devastated. All my followers were gone overnight. I couldn't understand why they were targeting me. After all, there were lots of kids doing the same thing I did. Once again, zero videos, zero videos, zero videos. Zero videos everywhere. The internet is filled with people that lie about their identity. It was so unfair. I was so angry and tried to argue with them. They refused to change their minds though and the account remained blocked. Why would they do that? I couldn't get online and no one could see my videos either. The decision was final. At school, things got bad as well. Well, it's sort of good because you were obsessed. All the people who had pretended to be my friends began turning their backs on me. Now that I wasn't popular any longer, they weren't interested in hanging out with me. I felt so lonely. But at least I discovered who my true friends were. Casey, of course, stayed by my side. No, isn't she a fake friend? Okay, whatever. It all through this mess. I finally told my parents what was going on, and they got me a tutor to help me catch up with my classmates. My grades were slowly improving, and I believe I've learned my lesson. I still want to be famous, but now I know I have to be way more careful about it. When I turn 13, I'll be opening my account again. They won't be able to close it down since I'll really have the right age to register then, but I won't let myself become so obsessed again. This time, I'll balance my study time and my TikTok time much more wisely. My parents promised they'd help me so that I keep getting good grades and making money. They don't Great, great, great. I understand why being popular- Let's just listen. Popular ...is so important for me, but they are trying to get to know me better. I love finally being able to get along with them. I didn't realize how much I missed being able to talk to them without getting into a screaming match. Honestly, I hope that when I get back online, my fan base will come back as well. I think that they might recognize my face and watch my videos all over again. I don't know if I'll be that lucky, but the last thing you lose is hope. So, what do you think? Is it possible to recover your popularity once you've lost it? Yes, it is. And won't you get more famous when you lose your account? Like, won't people just run to you because you're... You know, out of the etiquette. Also, if you could become super popular for a single skill, what would it be? Let me know your opinion in the comments. Thanks. Uh, YouTube. So yeah, guys, please subscribe. Thanks for watching. Don't tell your friends. Forget to subscribe and check out other videos in the channel. Okay, oh my god, who are these people? Okay, anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, smash that like button.
but in and i'll see you all next time good luck with tiktok go to my account and subscribe bye